Hi everyone, my name is Josimin and I'm a physiotherapist from Kutekpan Hospital. Today, I will share with you on how to stay active by exercising at the community fitness corners and the parks. There are many benefits to being physically active and exercising regularly. This includes moving better when performing daily tasks, preventing and managing chronic diseases such as diabetes, high cholesterol and high blood pressure, losing and maintaining weight, improving your psychological well-being, and reducing the risk of some cancers. There are three main types of exercises, aerobic exercise, strength exercise, and flexibility exercise. As these exercises have different benefits, it is important to do all three. In addition, seniors should also engage in balance exercises to reduce the risk of falls. Aerobic exercises involve large muscle groups moving repetitively. This will increase your breathing and heart rate. When performed regularly, aerobic exercises can improve your stamina and heart health. Some examples are brisk walking and jogging at the parks, using the stepper machine at the fitness corner, the elliptical machine, cycling on the exercise bike, and the arm cycle machine. When choosing an aerobic exercise, it is important that you are able to sustain the exercise for at least 10 minutes. Panting slightly but not too breathless, able to change the intensity of the exercise to make it easier or more challenging, and the exercise should not cause you any additional joint pain. If you have been exercising on a particular exercise machine for several weeks and your breathing becomes easier, it is likely that the intensity of the exercise is not enough. Some exercise machines at the fitness corner have an adjustable knob that allows you to make the exercise easier or more challenging. Apart from the exercise machines, you can progress your aerobic exercise by brisk walking up a slope or include some stepping exercises. Plan your exercises weekly and begin with a duration that you are comfortable with. For example, try brisk walking for 20 minutes for 2 days in a week. Then, try 20 minutes for 3 days the following week or when you're ready. As you progress, you should aim for 150 minutes of aerobic exercise on most days of the week. To monitor the intensity of your exercise, you can use the rate of perceived exertion scale. The RPE scale is commonly used to measure a person's exercise intensity. As it reflects how easy or difficult you feel about an exercise, it will vary across individuals. If you are new to exercise or have just recovered from illness, start simple and go easy. Begin with a light intensity exercise that allows you to speak full sentences. The exercise should also be easy enough for you to sing. As you progress and be regular with your exercises, you should aim for moderate intensity exercise. At this intensity, you will be breathing faster than usual. You may be panting slightly, but you can still speak full sentences. However, you will not be able to sing. If you are generally in good health and have been exercising very regularly for the past six months, you may consider engaging in some vigorous intensity exercise. However, please consult your doctor or physiotherapist. Here is a summary of the general guidelines for aerobic exercise. Hi everyone, my name is Kira and for the next segment, I will be talking about strength exercises. Strength or resistance exercise is performed when you push, pull or hold against a load or resistance. It improves your muscle strength, which is important in daily activities such as lifting furniture and moving heavy objects. Strength exercise can also improve blood sugar levels and thus prevent and manage diabetes. Some examples of strength exercises at the fitness corner include the seated chest press machine, inclined push-ups, Let's pull down machine, leg press machine, knee extension machine, and many more. When choosing the right strength exercise, 
it is important to target the major muscle groups like your legs, chest, arms, back and abdominal muscles. The load should be moderately heavy and not too light. Movements should be smooth and not jerky and your body position and posture should be stable and comfortable. Some exercise equipment allows you to challenge yourself by making the exercise more difficult or easier if you are new to exercise. This push-up equipment allows you to try different types of push-ups. If this push-up is too difficult, you can change the position of your body and hand grip. When doing this exercise, ensure that your shoulders, hips and knees are in line. Do not arch your back. Another way is to use a machine that targets the same muscle group. This chest press machine still works the chest muscle and can help you in daily activities that involve pushing. Some strength machines have adjustable knobs that allow you to make the exercise harder or easier. Exercise machines like these are preferred as it caters to users of varying abilities. There are also some machines which allow you to add weights to make it more challenging. Simply slide these weights to change the difficulty level of the exercises. Besides these machines, you can perform body weight exercises such as squats, lunges and heel raise. If you have a resistance band, you can perform standing rows and the shoulder press exercise. This exercise equipment can be found in our neighbourhood. While most of them are fairly easy to use, it is important to know whether these exercises are effective and sufficient. As a general guide, aim to do up to 15 repetitions for each exercise. Then, try it for 2 to 3 sets and gradually progress your exercise to 2 to 3 times a week. Once you can perform the exercise for 2 to 3 sets of 15, it is advisable for you to progress to a heavier load or change to a more challenging exercise for the same muscle group. It is normal to feel some muscle tension during the exercise. You may also experience some muscle aches after the exercise which may last a few days. However, you should not feel pain in your joints or muscles or feel too breathless during the exercise. For more information about these exercises, Consult your doctor and ask for a referral to a physiotherapist. Here is a summary of the general guidelines for strength exercises. The last type of exercise that we will be going through today are flexibility exercises or stretches. Flexibility exercises aim to improve joint range of motion and reduce muscle tension. There are many ways to perform upper body and lower body stretches. Here are some examples. Hamstrings or back of thigh stretch in standing and in sitting. Quadriceps or front of thigh stretch. Calf stretch. Bending sideways to stretch your body. Back of shoulder stretch. Chest stretch, neck stretches, and many more. When performing these stretches, hold the position for 10 to 20 seconds and repeat for 3 to 5 times. Do not bounce. You should feel a mild pulling discomfort but not pain. Breathe normally as this is a light intensity exercise. Here is a summary of the general guidelines for flexibility exercises. Exercise is for everyone, but it is important to choose the correct exercise depending on your health goals, how mobile you are, and whether you have any pre-existing medical conditions. If you are unsure, ask your doctor or physiotherapist about which exercise is suitable for you. We encourage you to take your blood pressure before and after exercise. If you have diabetes, please ensure that you take your blood sugar levels. If your blood sugar level is less than 4.0 millimoles per litre, do not exercise. Quickly consume one of these. If your blood sugar level is between 4.0 to 5.6 millimoles per litre, consider having a light snack. For example, a few pieces of biscuits before exercising, especially if you plan to exercise for more than 30 minutes, 
will be exercising at moderate to vigorous intensity or intend to start a new exercise. If your blood sugar level is more than 5.6 millimoles per liter, then you're good to go. Bring along your handphone in case of emergencies and some sweets in case of a low sugar episode. When visiting the fitness corners, we encourage you to bring a small bottle of hand sanitizer to clean your hands before and after exercise for hygiene purposes. Please also refrain from touching your face. So what are you waiting for? Visit your nearby fitness corner and check out the available machines. With that, thank you for watching. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Kira. See you next time. Goodbye! Goodbye.